Find the terminal. The terminal where I can speak to Miranda. So I can continue with the arc of getting hopefully saved. This beautiful fancy dress. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. <laughs> Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. We got about the haircut. Did I miss one cutscene before? I feel like I missed one cutscene before. God, if he dies, I'm gonna be mad. I actually have to play Boomeranda mod. And apparently, it seems like I can get Samara into my squad too. I'll notify the squad to be on standby, Commander. I've seen that correctly, which I will have to test right now. We're jumping into the next side mission. Leave orbit. Mass relay. Which is. Yes. No more we'll say. I found something. Reaper presence. Is that what you found? I hate scanning planets. We have credits. Well, yeah, that's not bad. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Fuel. And we're going to do that mission. Well, normally Jacob would be a part of it. But you know, you ain't. Ah! Oh, I saw her on my screen. Damn it, maybe I need to do a side mission, a normal one, and then she is part of that. No. All invite, select. Let's see. Perfect. Combination. Oh, we're gonna be slightly white now. I'm a wise. Look at me. And I can switch dress immediately too. I've got so many weird dresses to go through. Oh, no, I played so much with that thing. No, I want a sniper. For oh, now, let's use a sniper. What's the new thing that I bought for way too much money here? Light, of course, then the barrel. Yeah, that's good enough. I hope that thing is good. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, then we got you. No, no.
What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Mm. We have no information on that. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <clears throat> Who the hell just moaned? Was that Caden? Just take a thump? Where do I? Here. Yeah. Everybody's gonna die here and that. It was so <laughs> she didn't hold the trigger. Cover me. So there's scientists scored. Everybody's gonna die here. Everybody. That's the checkup replacement apparently. Cerberus abandoned this place. It's Go freezing. On. All right, just keep moving. And don't whine. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? No, we can't hold them much longer. <laughs> oh, that was that shot. That's weird. Is it charge up? Oh no! No! Ah! Oh, what the hell is this thing? I don't like it, but it's way too weird. Okay, lift grenade. This. This. Headshot. Enemy clear. We should attend to the living. Almost aren't right. Damn it. Almost fooled. Come in, Dr. Weber. This is Bryn. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? Let's see if my theory is correct and everybody's actually dead. No, no, look, he's still alive. Who were you? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy has been cleared. Open the door. Why should I trust you? I'm here to help, obviously. Commander Shepard worked with Cerberus. Look, your friend here is gonna bleed out. I'll own that. I just took care of about 50 Cerberus guys for you, and I... Hostiles! Okay, bro. Dr. Whistleblower and Weber. No. Me. Same crazy things. I just completely missed that. There's that shield generator. It helped me more than them. Convinced? I'm on your side. Open the door. Screen. How badly are you hurt? What about the others? 
No one else made it. Cerberus brought the big guns. No, You're didn't. lucky I got here when I did. Dr. Bryn Cole. Uh, sorry about earlier. I had to be sure. You understand. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Also, there was a big glitch in the cuts and stuff. <laughs> Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeah, the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. And we were done being controlled. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. We clearly underestimated his resolve. Time to evacuate. I agree. But our AA guns on the roof have gone offline. Cerberus might be jamming them. Without those guns, Cerberus will blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. I'll take a look. Thank you. I'll check to see if it's the network link. Then I'll meet you upstairs. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jamie. I didn't want to come here with these people. It was his idea. What am I going to do without him? Finish the work you started. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. The soldier. Is that Dr. Archer? Oh my god, it's Dr. Archer. I've met David. And well, I will tell you this this time. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. It's so weird that when you let him bury, he kills himself. But yeah. David's I was safe. at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. A big surprise. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. <laughs> I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Low power. Please wait. Reset Low power. Ah, there's a work bench. Get the tech to stalk themselves to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. Manager, give me. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did so many escape? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. 
I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You've got to be kidding. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. Dr. Cole? Harley, what did you find out? Can't tell. I only know I can't fix it from here. What do you need me to do? Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Access is on the roof. I'm on it. Radio me when you've engaged the controls. Be careful. Cerberus just landed up there a few minutes ago. Good luck, and thank you. It's time to think of it. Why doesn't Cerberus actually also jump on the crucible and try to take that over? Instead of just, you know, sit at the... Let's just get the hell out of here. Calm down. Commander Shepard's here. So what? So relax. Instead of just the Citadel and Omega. I feel much everything. Go, just go. No, no, I'm okay. Let's just do this. Money. Money and experience. I thought we covered our bases. I told you that we should have gone to Sanctuary. What did he do with us? Oh, oh. Yep. Sanctuary. People had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. They are brave, but misguided. And now they may all be dead. Oh, we got this. Put this. I'm gonna cut the enemy into it's pieces. Up. Oh, but I can destroy it like that. For <laughs> another. Here, engineer. With it, oh boy. Satellite tower. Oh, the enemy's coming. Damn it. I waited it for so long. Okay. No one coming from here, right? Dr. Cole, satellite should be back online now. It is, but the guns are still offline. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. God, good job. And that's because I hit him? I did. And I need to jump on top. No. <laughs> Enemy on the oh. Funny. Gun above. Okay. Move up. Keep low and find cover. Mm. 
Pen mode. I'm fit for the drone, I believe. Damn it. Got it. Hopefully. Yeah, it's gone. All danger. This is okay. He's not still on there. That's easy. Gun one reset. Circuit incomplete. The other gun's still down. Let's get over there. And give me. Oh, loot. Give me that too. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Caden, go fix the guns. Yes, ma'am. Ready, Javik? It's just it's the two of us. Yes, Commander. Already. Already needing to reload. The things. What's the status of the guns? Working on it. Bring the guns back online. Good. Press the button yourself, dude. Come on. I oh, mean, push it in yourself. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? Progressing quickly. Shuttle 1 is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? What's our status? Are we ready? Essentially. Of course, any extra time is welcome. Also, we want to make sure we don't leave anything the elusive man could retrieve. But we're ready to go whenever you say. I think I've looted everything. Let's All go. Right, let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Shuttle one is away. 
All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Get down! First mayor, damn it, he dodged it. I'll be trash talking for nothing. First, so we can bring the door up, then get out mm -hmm. to the landing pad. Lead on. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Oh, boy. Here we go. That lift grenade, that just kills everything on its own. That drone is put into this port again. One more shuttle of refugees to go. Cerberus has a outnumber. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. Do they? Do they do? Time to bring in the mech in the middle here. Last of the civilians. Dr. Cole, bring the escape shuttle. Let's get out of here. Will do, Commander. An armored reinforcement has landed. Oh. Yeah. Someone right in our face, too. Um. Lift grenades. landing area clear. Time to bug out. We'll wait for the shuttle out front. On our way. They're gonna die. Found them many. He's gonna die. Oh, that's gonna die. Oh, is he just getting exactly what Jacob had as a cutscene? Well, he did get exactly Jacob's cutscene. So Jacob I was, was pretty much. We wouldn't get anyone out alive. 
But because Christ. of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Good luck. And please, take care. Um, Jacob was useless. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. And if you could find some place to house the families, I'd appreciate it. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Damn, the dress is cool looking. Space as hell because of all those colors. Got the blue. Sky blue. Okay. What's next? Talking to hmm. crew. Dress physics are all kind of weird. Discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. Tech six? Commander, Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the middle. Oh, we'll do that in a second, don't worry. I want to see if Choco or ID have something new to say. Cerberus is going to have a hard time recruiting now. Oh, dear. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Commander. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Hello, Shepard. Oh. I'm not dressed fancy. Um, I wanted to switch Edie's dress while I'm right here. No, let's not do it. It seems game breaking. After the door is closed. We're downstairs. And we're gonna change that outfit shield multiple ones too. I believe he's in the crew quarters. I'm going there anyways. Oh crew is there. That's the crew deck. So what settings? Legion, I don't have him. DD. The hair we're gonna keep for a while. Purple, we just had the dress. Bobby. <laughs> that looks goldfish. Cool um, so many options. How is that? Flips, let's try that. And fire. Oh. I swear I've seen Samara on my screw my screwmate screen. Mm. Is that Caden? Oh, that's the way he's sitting. Wait. Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem... Like, like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if there are more like them trapped inside Cerberus struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many, the choice to leave someone behind, to 
until you're in that moment. So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. Look they were professionals. Off. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from them. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first and at any cost. And that, that's a very different thing. But this, no. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. Sounds like a snack. Sounds like a date. I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Damn, the dress is cool. I don't want to see the other fellow variants cutscenes. So I'm going to take a detour upstairs. No, that's not the right place. Take one of the other color variants. I'll do a map. Also, I can't get rid of the arms to see the full Asari armor. That doesn't work. Um, dress 53. There's this version. The red one. There. So many different versions. Red. Dress up with Commander Shepard. It's funny because as the male you have the superhero outfits and I didn't see any superhero outfits. Must have missed them. Who the hell is that? Why? No. Why does he have his own office in here? Mr. Female, you have so many dresses and outfits. Way more. Thank you, Mr. Morning Angel. Ready. So many outfits. They're cool looking. I find using my bionics oh, to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. <sighs> well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. And that's how you end the conversation. No, I don't get stuff here for some reason. Okay, whoever that is, blah blah blah. Perhaps we can talk later. Really? Perhaps we can talk later. Does it just not talk to you when you don't romance her? At your service. It's weird. Is Grant still here? Oh no, he's he's gone. May yeah, I speak to you? If it's a bot grunt, yes. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. 
With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Mm. And nothing about Grant, like literally, was just here. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies yeah. with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. Talk to Mr. Jervik. I haven't done this too much in this let's play. It's more interesting when other crewmates are still alive, you know. Oh, is this the right side? I you were once a part of Cerberus? That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust you? I am no longer in their service. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Okay. Say so. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals, Otherwise. Mm. You think about Samara? Perhaps later, Commander. Nope. So I uh, saw on my school screen. I'll look at that again. It's here again. Maybe just for side quests that I don't, don't want to do at the moment. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? 
I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You turn it into a regular marine. Yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Ooh. Thanks, Ooh. Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Commander. Ooh. Ura. Where's my squad? I didn't do more. Lock! Maybe she's still locked. I can't look for almost now. Like she can bring her in the future. Wait, what? Sweet. The one missing? Were there not five? No, no, probably not. No, I don't think I can do anything special here. Not too much, just give them different guns. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna just go downstairs, see if there's something new. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's oh. got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M4. They stopped talking. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Lost. Oh, we have to. Uh, we don't have enough armors. I don't know what's the difference here. One is stronger, apparently. Damn. Not enough armor. Variety. Looks glitched. Just put the shoulder guards a second ago. Damn it, Patrick. Okay. I need more armors. Damn it. Oh, I have so many casuals, but not enough armors. So next dress, I've just worn you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's finish it. Let's be done. <laughs>